I'm in the ancient city of Pompeii in Italy. You've probably heard of it. It's known around the world because a cataclysmic event here happened in AD 79 when Mount Vesuvius basically blew up and the people were sort of frozen in time. What happened was this uh, volcano, an active volcano, and I don't think the people were fully aware it was an active volcano uh, because it's such a pretty spot here, a great location, people wanted to live here. But uh, first there was a release of uh, uh, noxious gases that began to slowly kill the people and they were uh, asphyxiated. And then out of Mount Vesuvius came ash that effectively froze these people in time. And this was not known for, for centuries about what happened here. And someone discovered this place, I think it was around 250 years ago, it started an excavation as they were going down, they came to these large roundish objects and different shapes that seemed to be hollow inside. And, they came to one and two and three and they went, what are these? And so someone had the idea of injecting it with cement to see what was in it. And what came out was a mold of, well, the people of Pompeii. Uh, there were people in motion, people crumbling, people protecting children, even animals and doors and other objects. So what you have is this amazing time capsule of what happened. So we might say, well, that's ancient history. Well, yeah, it is. but. <laughs> It's interesting to look at some of the parallels of what can happen cataclysmically, how something can change overnight. And I want to talk about that with you. What we can learn from the ancient city of Pompeii in our world today, and more specifically, in America today. of Rome, once the most powerful nation on the face of the earth, forced other cultures into submission in Pax Romana. One of those cities that came under the control of Rome was Pompeii, where we are right now. You know, there's a lot of ways that a nation can come to an end, and every nation has a lifespan, a beginning, middle, and end. There was once the great nation of Babylon with no equal but they were overtaken by the Medo-Persians and they too were overtaken in time. And then there was Rome and Rome eventually was gone. Every nation is gonna come to an end. Sometimes they're conquered by another nation. Sometimes they just fade into irrelevance. And sometimes something cataclysmic happens that causes a nation to no longer exist literally overnight. Sodom and Gomorrah comes to mind. God's judgment came upon those wicked people that celebrated their immorality. Other cities that Jesus mentioned, like Tyre and Sidon, no longer exist. And here we are in Pompeii, a city that was thriving with activity and commerce and people just out and about doing what they were doing. And suddenly, Mount Vesuvius blows and their world as they knew it ended overnight. I look at our own nation, the United States of America. I think of the way that we started with our Judeo-Christian roots, our founding fathers with a strong belief in a creator, a God that gave us this freedom and how we honored him and acknowledged him. Not just any God, the God of the Bible. Listen, knowledge brings responsibility. And when you know it's right and you don't do it, it's worse than when you're in complete ignorance. And our nation has strayed so far from our roots. Today, we celebrate pornography, not unlike Pompeii. We promote it, we export it around the world. We openly murder our children because they're an inconvenience. We just call them a blob of cells and it's called abortion, that's a technical term, but it's murdering an unborn child. We pretend as though God does not exist. Do we think that we can continue to thumb our nose at God and not face any consequences? Israel thought that. And if there's any nation that America parallels, it's the nation Israel, also founded on biblical principles established by God himself. God warned her over and over again that judgment would come if she did not repent of her sin and turn from our idolatry. And Israel just ignored God's warnings, ignored the prophets of God, and then one day the nation of Babylon overtook her. 
I know one thing for sure. There's going to come a day when the United States of America, the greatest superpower on the face of the earth, will no longer exist in the present form. Is that going to be because we're overtaken by another nation? Don't think it couldn't happen. Is it going to be because there's something cataclysmic that happens, like what took place here in Pompeii? Is it going to be for some other reason we just fade into irrelevance? I don't know. But one thing is clear. America needs God. America needs to turn back to God. America needs a spiritual revival. We don't want to end up like Pompeii. I do believe our best days could be ahead of us. And then again, some of our worst days could be ahead of us. In many ways, it's up to us. If we choose God, if we follow Him and His Word, our best days are ahead. If we disregard God and His Word, then we cannot be so proud to think that we too will not face a judgment, just like Pompeii did years ago.